Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to take a look at how to reinstall Windows 10 without losing your files. Let's start by going to Start, Settings, or Control Panel. And scroll on down to Update and Security. Once you get to here, we're going to go over here to the Recovery on your left. And you'll see the Get Started. We'll discuss what is saved and isn't saved here and a little bit more when the process starts. You can keep your files, but take note, we did say files. It will remove your apps and all your settings and bring you pretty much back to a Windows install without removing documents, etc. And we'll discuss that further. Removing everything will take you back and give you a clean install of Windows. Some of you may have a third option. If Windows came pre-installed, you may see Restore Factory Settings this will return your computer back to it was the day you bought it with the antivirus it came with any free programs it came with etc I personally like this especially if you've already tweaked and cleaned a pre-installed Windows 10 because you probably removed a lot of that stuff and cleaned it up and you don't want to put it all back so let's go with keep my files as you can see getting things ready this won't take long it will give you a list of everything it's going to remove your list will be a lot longer than mine and this way you could take note, but when you're done, it should actually put a document right here. Uh, I forgot what it's called now, but it'll be sitting here as an HTML document with a list of everything that you had removed and links whenever possible. So that will speed along finding everything you need to find. So let's hit next. And once more, you will see everything that's going to reset. It's like a second warning and go ahead and click reset once you do you probably don't want to stop and hit cancel although I've done it and gotten away with it once it gets towards rebooting your PC you probably don't want to do that so while we're uh, watching this little thing squirrel around for 12 minutes let's talk about what you keep and what you don't keep we can get away with peeking at it real quick if you go to your C users this is basically what it's going to look at to save it shouldn't save any of this. It's not going to save anything from Publix. But anybody that has a username, it should save it. So here's my major geeks. So it's going to save, I know it's going to save documents, pictures. So if you're using the standard folders, you should be able to have all this stuff back later. App data can be interesting to back up if you like because the local folder has a lot of your settings, as does the local lower the roaming. Oh, too late. So it has a lot of your settings for your programs. It might be handy to back up. But you should also have, when it's done, a C Windows dot old folder. If you don't have malware, you might be able to find some of the programs you need in the C Windows older, the settings that you can drag back in and recover. There is a link in the article that explains more on the app data local, local low, and roaming folders that we just showed you. But the primary one, of course, is the app data local. If you want to get geeky with it, if you're not an advanced user, you might just put up with what you got to put up with. So you're going to look at this screen now, and that's going to go until obviously it hits 100%, and you'll see your Windows back the way you hated it before you got it the way you wanted it. So um, once again, so that should be most of your personal files saved. Again, music, videos, pictures, documents, downloads. Um, Anything in your C drive, for example, if you took your C drive and made new files or folders, it should save those outside of what is typical. So Windows is supposed to look and say, hey, this guy created a folder called C colon backslash whatever. So I'll back up the whatever folder and put it back when I'm done. So now if you're wondering what it's doing, essentially what you don't see is Windows is going to start the Windows recovery environment. If you've seen it or never used it, it's not the most friendly thing to use, especially if you're not kind of geeky, and that's okay. So basically, it's going to start that. You never saw it. Start a Windows recovery environment for you. Erase your hard drive. Format it. Set up a clean install. But before it did all that, when you told it to save your files, it set them aside so it can put them back when it's done. So that's the only difference between this and basically formatting your hard drive yourself, which is, you know, it can take hours. So I think that covers most of what you hopefully need to know. I really, really hope so. We're going to hit pause and we're going to come back in uh, another 76% or so and just show you that it's done. And that should be it unless something comes to mind while I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs. 
and we just missed the, I don't know if you caught it or not, the 99%. And that means we should be heading into a reboot now. And we should come back into a nice clean windows. Now, while we're waiting for that to come up, I should also mention that we have used tweaking.com's Windows Repair. It can repair a lot of your programs that uh, are screwed up file errors, registry errors, etc. If you've got a lot of stuff on your computer, it's going to take you a lot longer to run Windows Repair. But if you don't want to go through all of this, then there you go. Oh, we still got to reinstall. I don't think it did this. Maybe it did do it last time. I probably walked away because, you know, I was bored. So that's something for you to consider as well is to walk away and set aside some time. So figure, I think I was 19 minutes. I just checked it, 19 minutes. You're going to be longer. So make sure you set aside an hour maybe more because once your computer comes back up obviously you've got your documents and your files that you save but your programs aren't there so if you want to customize windows a little bit or you need to install programs you're not going to be ready to roll for a little while until you get that all back in that's why i kind of mentioned windows repair as a alternative so we're going to go back to pause there's not much left to see here if you want to bail out feel free uh, it's just going to come back to windows and we're going to be done so we'll check back in a minute after we hit the pause and just in case we missed anything exciting, we just finished up the what you just saw on the screen a second ago, and we're waiting to see if Windows is going to come up ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Nope, we still got more. Well, they weren't kidding. It will restart several times. I don't remember. Like I said, I don't remember it. So just hang out there. Go get a cup of coffee. Make sure, like I said, make sure you save your time. We're going to give this another minute, though and see where we're at hopefully this is the second and last so when they say several we don't really really mean several hang on and it didn't restart another time it was about another minute or two that i was off screen so that's not so bad and of course i almost forgot to mention this to you you have to do any of your updates and stuff too so again it's reinstalling Windows just like it always used to be. It's just a little bit faster and a little bit easier. So once the Windows updates are done, we should be back. I, I wish I had some jokes or something because it's kind of boring. Um, yeah, but I really just wanted to run the video as long as it took, minus my pausing, so that you could actually see what you should expect. So when you go in, you don't have any surprises. So we shall once again pause. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> all right. When they said we're almost there, they really meant it because it's like, this could take a few minutes. I'm like, eh, it's going to take longer than that. But here we are, as you can see. Probably one of the interesting things, at least to me on the video, is we're at the eight minute mark. So at eight minutes, that's how much time I physically have invested in having to sit here and do everything that you've seen. So as you can see here, this is probably what Windows looked like when you got here. Cortana's down here. Microsoft Edge, the Windows Store. Everything was the way I remember it from my clean install. And you are off to the races now. As I mentioned, I don't think I remember the file name. Here it is, Removed Apps. We mentioned that to you. So here's the Removed Apps. Some of it's clickable. I'm surprised some of it's not. Yeah, they know the link to Google Chrome. Come on, isn't it like... I don't know. I should know it. Stop Updates 10 has got a link for that. VMware Tools. Some of the stuff should have links. It's not rocket science, but... At least you know you can save yourself a little bit of time and, and you can double check. Oh, yeah, I had that. I need that later. So you're not surprised later on. So if we head over here, I don't think I saved anything. I probably should have just to show you, but uh, hindsight's a, a beautiful thing. But as you can see, anything you had in your users will be here. Again, this is such a clean install that I didn't have anything in there but it'll all be here for you and as mentioned here's your windows old we're getting into advanced use here here is the windows we just got rid of so if you know of a file or a folder that was in the main stuff as you can see there are no um, if you compare side by side you might be missing a few things recovery folders empty here's your users major geek so if something didn't get saved from a download a document favorites links you can get it from here so basically that would tell me yep nothing there so you just drag and drop anything you need to save from there back over and again it's a little more advanced users but everything you need 
is here. If you had a program, for example, that was portable, you could just, um, for example, drag and drop it over wherever you want. So, and then start running it, as you can see. Ta da! So, that's just an example. And again, easy enough. There's stop updates 10. I'm trying to remember if that's portable or not. License README. Doesn't look like it. Looks like just the settings. So, that might save you a lot of time as well. Each computer is different. Your mileage may vary. And that's about it. One of our longer videos, but I hope it gives you an idea what to expect if you decide to reset your PC with or without losing your files. But specifically in this case, we looked at without losing your files. So take a moment and click the subscribe button if you like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.